Today we want to provide some first troubleshooting steps for a data bus fail message on a G5000 Garmin system. Here I want to make a note that when we put our display into configuration mode that um, if the APU is running it will shut that APU down. So at this point we want to make sure that we have a ground power cart unit hooked up to the airplane providing power. And with that, to get the display into config mode, we want to use the dimmer knob and shut it off. And for the GTC, we're going to pull the circuit breaker. With that, we're going to pull the upper slot, uh, the card out of the upper slot, and we're going to get our force config card. We're going to stick it in there. We're going to rotate the dimmer knob to the on position. And for the GTC, we're going to use the far right knob and we're going to push on the inner one and push in the breaker to get it into config mode. Once we see the initialization um, splash screen show up, we can let go of the uh, knob. Once everything's in config mode, what we'll do on the GTC, we'll touch the GDU controls. With that, we're going to, on the far right knob, we're going to scroll down using the small knob to system data path configuration. Once on this page, you'll be able to see all of our data buses, the 429 data bus, the CAN data bus, the 232 data bus, the 485, and the high speed data bus. You may also see an Alpha 708 data bus and an Alpha 717 data bus. Once here, uh, if we have to scroll down and look, what we're looking for any red X's, so anything that's not communicating, throwing the data bus fail message. On the far right uh, GTC, the far right knob, uh, we want to push it. Once that push, it lights up the uh, a flashing highlight is going on, and then we'll use the outer knob on the far right and scroll down. Again, we're just looking for any X's, red X's. Once we scroll down, we don't see anything. We'll use the arrow on the GTC. We'll highlight the can, and then we'll hit the select. And again, we're just looking for any red X's. Hit the right arrow to the 232, hit select. Again, to scroll down, we need to push the small knob on the far right. And then we're going to scroll the large knob on the far right and scroll in looking for any X's. If nothing is there, we'll hit the, far, er, the arrow, hit the select for the 485. Push the small knob on the far right. Use the big knob and scroll down. And then for the high speed data bus, use the arrow key, highlight this high-speed data bus. Here again, we'll push the far right small knob and rotate the big one through the, through the pages. So here are the steps that will help identify what data bus isn't communicating with the G5000 system. Thanks for watching.